So what does support mean? It could mean the beams holding up this chapel. It could mean a cheerleader pyramid or being there when a flyer's on her way to the ground. Or it could mean being a father, like mine. My dad, Brian Bent, is the third of four children who grew up in a middle-class Metairie family. He went to St. Clement of Rome before becoming a Blue Jay. He is a member of the Jesuit class of 1989. When I was born, my dad said, I finally got my Blue Jay. You see, my older sister's pretty smart and all, but there was no way they were letting her in at Carrollton and Banks. When it came time for me to choose a high school, my dad didn't pressure me to go to Jesuit. He didn't use the lines that some Jesuit alums use with their sons like, your choice son, but I'm only paying tuition if you go to Jesuit, or you can go to any school you want as long as you wear a Jesuit uniform. In fact, my dad went out of his way to make sure that the Jesuit choice was my choice. And I'm glad he did. And for the record, f almost five years later, I think I chose wisely. And fellow Blue Jays, I hope you feel the same. When I came home from school in the middle of my eighth grade year, I told my parents I wanted to be a Jesuit cheerleader. A lot of dads may have responded with something like, are you sure you don't want to be of, are, you sure, are you sure you don't want to play football or basketball or baseball or lacrosse or rugby? You get the idea. Again, for the record, I did swim in eighth grade, but chose cheering with girls over 90 minute practices at 4.30 in the morning in ice cold water. Again, good choice, right dad? My father's bigger concern was balance. What do your grades look like? Fortunately, they were high enough to make the cut. I believe my dad learned how to be supportive, not only from his parents, but from his time as a student at Jesuit. While he walked these halls in the khaki uniform, he was a member of the math club, Mu Alpha Theta, and the Blue Jay Band. The math took hold. After college at Loyola, he got his CPA. The music lessons, mm, not as much. He's okay on trumpet, but when it comes to dancing and trying to rap, yes, rap, with me and my sister, dad, A for effort, but I'll leave it at that. What the band did teach him is the importance of team and support. To this day, our put, band puts on great per concerts, wins trophies at marching festivals, and revs up the crowds at Mardi Gras. But often, the band is there for other members of the school community, playing at open house or keeping the student section jacked up on Friday nights. Imagine a Jesuit football game without the band. You see, a family is like a team. Without support, the family or team can fall apart. My father knew that my choice to be a part of the cheer team would teach me the same life skills that he learned here. So, where are we today, Dad? Well, I wouldn't be an Eagle Scout if you weren't one first. You were prepared, and now I am. Dad, you taught me about service when you brought our family to Ozanam Inn on Christmas Day to feed and be with the homeless. You also taught me how to be courageous. I'm sure it wasn't easy starting an RV dealership when your family background was in boats and the hours you put in to make, the, make sure the business succeeded, many times, and even more than that, till midnight, instilled a work ethic in me that has helped me here in high school and will follow me through life. There isn't a morning that goes by that I don't tell my dad that I love him. The least I can do, and the least we can all do, for the men who have taught us, through example and love, how to be men of faith and men for others. Love you, Dad.